Love is the fruit of the spirit of a born again man. That is, when you are born of God, new birth produces a fruit in you and that fruit is the love of God. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. So because we are born again, we can forgive others. We can forgive others. Acts Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 32. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Because you are forgiven, you owe it as a duty to forgive others. Because you are forgiven, you owe it as a duty to forgive others. That is part of your nature as a believer. Unforgiveness is anti-Christianity. Anti Unforgiveness is anti-Christ. The believer's nature is forgiveness. We forgive because we are forgiven. We have the nature of God. In 1 John chapter 4 verse 17, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we. How he is, how is he? He is forgiving. How are we? We are forgiving. His nature has been brought in us. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 to 2, Ephesians, I'm laying foundation, Ephesians 5 1 to 2, be therefore followers of God as their children. Be therefore followers of God as their children and walk in love. And walk in love. So if you are born of God, the love walk is your walk. And walk, put up that verse 2 again. And walk in love. As Christ also hath loved us, hath loved us, hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering, and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savour and walk in love. When you follow God as a child of God, you walk in love. So salvation produces fruit in us. Salvation produces a walk in us, which God had before ordained that we should walk 